Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be filming my May Sinking Funds update where I will be counting up my sinking funds um, so we can see what's our ending amount for the month of May. And that way we can see how much money I was able to save throughout my cash stuffing journey up to this month. Um, so I am trying to film this video again for the second time already. I tried filming it yesterday, but my phone stopped recording due to low storage. So I did have to delete some past videos. So yeah, I do have some storage now. So that's why I'm filming again. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So um, again, I am running a little bit out of breath because I just worked out before filming this video. So yes i'm a little out of breath but let's just go ahead and start off with my investments um i did start off with 360 dollars that money is already invested into my two accounts so let's see what's our amount now that we have invested um Let's see, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 560. Um, so let me just go ahead and write 560 here. I don't count the $15 because that's just rolling over for next month. I'm just counting up whatever I have invested. So that is it for this binder. Now let's go ahead and move on to this binder here. And we will see how much money I was able to save for this envelope. So we we did start off with $4,200 and now we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 100, 200, 250, 270, 285. So 4,200 and, is that correct? 50, 70, 85, yeah. 4,285. So our new total for my savings plus my investments is, let's see, 4,285 plus 560. Our new total is $4,845. Oh, so let's see what's the difference here. So I did put aside $285 for um, savings plus investments. So that's exciting. So that's for the month of May. Um, so now let's go ahead and count all of my sinking funds. So let's see, let's start off with month ahead. With this, we did start off with $325, so now we have $100, so $481 minus $325, that's a change of positive $156. Now for a car, we did start off with 3,125, and now we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 100, 200, 300, 350, 375. So 3,375. That's a positive $250. All right. For car insurance, this envelope is new, so it did start off with zero. Now we have thirty dollars in here, so that's plus thirty. Okay. For moving, we did start off with two thousand five hundred and twenty-five, and now we have one thousand, two thousand, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, nine fifty. So 2,950, so let's see, that's a positive 425 that we were able to add for this month. And that's all thanks to my taxes. 
money. So now for my parents, we have 100, 150, 160, 165, 166, and 167. It only shows that I added $7 here, but in reality, I did add more than that. The only reason why I it shows this amount is because I did have to pull uh, money from this envelope because I did take my mom out for Mother's Day, so that's why. Okay, so for Ed, he did start off with 36 and now he has 55. Okay. All right, for my envelope, I believe I have $30. So that should be a positive 25. And I forgot to um, write it down here. So that's positive 19. Oops. All right, for health. We did have 205 and now we have 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59. So 59, 205 minus 59, that's a negative 146. Um, we are negative here in this envelope because I um, did have to buy some supplements and I did take the money out from this envelope. So clothes is empty, so that's minus 36 here. Um, let's see, gifts has a hundred dollars, so a hundred minus 34, that's a positive 66. All right, and Christmas we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 45. So 345 minus 240, that's a positive 105. And that should be it for this binder. Now let's just go ahead and move on to my last binder here. Let me just organize this real quick. All right. For, okay, so I'm not counting Etsy taxes, neither I'm counting YouTube. Um, let's just do shipping. We have 50, 51, and 52. So 52 minus 3, that's a positive $49. Now for supplies. We did have two dollars and I believe we have now four. One, two, three, and four. So that's correct. There's a positive two dollars here. Okay, for equipment, this envelope is new, so that's why it did it did have zero dollars at the beginning. And now we have 10, 15, 16, and 17 dollars. So that's a positive 17. And then for P.O. Box, we did have 103. Now we have 1, 2, and 3. I did have to pull out from this envelope. And the reason is because I did have to pay my P.O. Box for my 6 months renewal. So what am I doing? Okay, I just got lost for some reason. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Um, so like I was saying, I did have to pull out the money from here to deposit it back into my checking account because I did have to pay $116 for my PO box. So that's the money that I pulled out from that envelope. So let's see now for emergency, I have 1,500, 600, 700, 750, 770, and 790. 1,790. And that is, let's see, positive 275. Okay. Now, moving on to my $1 challenge. This is exciting, guys, because um we can see how much money i was able to save for this month um 
So for last time we did have $37 and now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. So $45 for my $1 challenge. Let's see. Oops. Can't. Okay. There we go. So let's see. 45 minus 37. That's um, a positive $8 that we were able to add for this month, which is awesome. I know it's not that much, but it's all I could contribute to that envelope. So for my 52 weeks, we did start off with $515. And now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, and 570. So 570 minus 515. that's a positive $55 so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to be counting up all of my ending amounts here in this column so let's just go ahead and add them we have 481 plus 3,375 plus $30 plus 2,950 plus 167 plus 55 plus 30 plus 59 plus 100 plus 345 plus 4 plus 52 plus 17 plus 3 plus 1790 plus 45 plus 570 so we got ten thousand and seventy three dollars and on top of that i'm going to be adding the four thousand eight hundred and forty five so plus 4,845, that's a grand total of 14,918 dollars. And it looks like I didn't forget to write the beginning total. Just give me a moment guys, I'll be back. So the beginning total was 13,000. Four hundred and twenty-six dollars that I forgot to add. So let's just go ahead and subtract thirteen thousand four hundred and twenty-six, and the change is one thousand four hundred and ninety-two dollars that we were able to, that we were able to save for this month. And most of it is thanks to my tax refund. It did help me a lot to add more money to my sinking funds um for my savings investments everything um so yeah i'm very very happy about that so yeah guys this is the last video of the month um i hope you guys enjoyed watching all of these videos for may um i am a little bit behind on my videos i was supposed to already record my cash stuffing number one for june but i will have to ready and uploaded by thursday so this thursday that is coming up so if you're interested go ahead and stay tuned and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that way you are notified okay and yeah i hope you guys enjoy watching these videos like i said and just stay tuned for my next videos um because i am very excited for this new month so yeah guys with that being said i'll see you guys next time with my June paycheck number one. So I hope you guys take care and I'll see you until the next one. Bye!